Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project Calendars. What I want to talk about in this module is how you can create your own calendar and how you can modify a pre-existing calendar. So the way project works is that you have on the project tab a calendar, change working time. The timings that are set here come through from options. If I just click into options so you can see where they are. So on the schedule option you can see that the default time start time and end time and the hours per day etc etc so that's where it's getting its information from you can change those if you wish or you can just edit these calendars so the default calendars you get are 24 hours a night shift and the standard project calendar which is this one if i go on to work weeks you can see those default options coming through to all of these days and Saturday being a non-working day and Sunday being a non-working day. Now, when you change this calendar, any resource you create will just copy this calendar and that that calendar or this calendar will be their calendar. However, you may there may be occasions where you need to create your own calendar for a particular resource set, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first off, let's just explain how that works. Now, on the exceptions tab, there's work weeks there's exceptions you can put things like Christmas breaks or bank holidays so if I just put um, Christmas break for this year say we break up on the 23rd and we come back on the 28th of December see that colors in and so there is a normal working day with the default timings the, there is a non-working day now based on this exception in the work weeks you can do this as well. So there's the default working times that I've already shown you, but you can also do this. For example, let's say in the summer, you're in a hot country and people don't work the same hours. So let's say the 1st of June, 2021, and till the 1st of October, 2021, which just happens to be a Friday. The working times for that period, which is all colored up there now, because it's really, really hot. So I'll just highlight all of these, just down to Friday. Set these specific working times, so tick that. And I'll delete this bottom block, and let's say we start work at six, because it's quite cool still. I'm just getting cursor in there. Change that to zero six. And we finish at 1300. Or 1400, let's make it 1400. Okay, so during that period, this will automatically clock over to take those timings. Uh, during this normal period or any other period outside of that, it will be the default timings. So there's the exceptions. So you'd put bank holidays and, and factory shutdowns and things like that in this list. Now, if I click OK to that, I'm going to create myself a resource. When I create a resource, I'll just create Bob. And the only reason I've typed Bob is because it's only three letters. If I double click into Bob, change working time, you can see uh, this is just a resource calendar for Bob. Base calendar is the standard calendar, which I've just changed uh, two seconds ago. So if I come down to December, you can see it's picking up the, the holiday that I set on the base calendar. It's just a complete copy of this. Now, if I cancel this off, uh, cancel it again. What you can do, let's say you want Bob to be able to work in December. Um, so if I try and put this task to December, um, the 23rd, for example, that day, it's telling me that that's a non-working day. Do you want to set it as a working day? Not really, I don't. So it's forcing me to move it to the next working day, which is Tuesday the 29th. Just leave that for a second. What I'm going to do is create a calendar for engineers. And let's say Bob is an engineer. So going back up into change working time, create a new calendar. So you, I'm going to call it engineers. Engineers. I'm going to have it as a new base calendar. So it's not a copy of that. Or I could leave it as a copy of that because I'm not going to change the timings. Click OK. Click OK. Nothing's getting done. I'm not doing the, the uh, Christmas break. Click OK. 
Now if I go to Bob, I can set Bob to have that calendar as his base calendar. Engineers. And then if I come down to December, whoops, went past it, he's, 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 he's able to work. I'll click OK. OK. Now, obviously, this task still won't let me select December the 23rd, even though even though if I put Bob on it, let's have a look. Let's put Bob onto that. Bob's on it. So he's able to work on the 23rd, but the text, the task itself ignores that, still wanting me to move the task to the 29th. So what you have to do is you need to double click on task C and get yourself onto the advanced tab, which I am on. And then assign a calendar to this task. So I'm going to assign that calendar engineers. And sometimes you might want to tick that if you've got um, like a machine running for 24 hours, seven days a week. You might want to have that tick so no resource allocation affects the actual running of the machine. So I'll click OK to that. Now this should now let me select the 23rd of December because this calendar has not got any exceptions on it. So there you go, it allows me to select the 23rd of December, even though for the base calendar that is a non-working time. So this engineer, Bob, can come into work on the 23rd and do whatever he has to do. And if I change the duration to three days, he should still be able to work because that's allowed on this calendar. So that's a quick look at calendars. That's all I want to talk about in this session. So that's the end. I'll see you in the next one.